<laughs> Hello cousins. Welcome back to Chillin' with Alex. 7.15 p.m. High Priestess, Reinvention, Capricorn, Deception, Hangman, The Death Partners, Judgment, Pisces, Temperance, and The Magician, Scorpio, Friends, so what Hermit, Messages and Give It a Chance, so somebody wants to apologize. Well, you know, make a jerk bring flowers. Somebody wants to apologize. Heavy eyes on you. You know the reason that everything between... It, it's almost like there's a dynamic between you and whoever this is that may not be the best right now. The thing is, I get the feeling that everything's about to pretty much change over. The reason why is because... High Priest is being the first card out. I feel like you saw right through this person like a fucking eight ball. You shook this person up like an eight ball. You know how when you can tell. It's like when you when you do the eight ball so many times, you can just tell the um like you know what's coming up next. It's like, oh, um, it's only what is like eight sayings or something like that in the eight ball. All right. This one I went. Every time this one go, this one go. Every three times this one go. This person got a thing with numbers. And you got deception up here with the high priestess and the hangman. I feel like you stopped somebody dead in their tracks, literally. The thing about this particular person is this: whoever this is, they tried to trick you. And you was like, yeah, something ain't right. Hold the fuck up. That hangman and deception, you... you it's something that drew your attention and they know that you know something something drew your attention to whatever the fuck this is and then you got this light bulb right here with this magnifying glass so um what's done in the dark comes to light this person tried to hide something you still it's almost like you had night vision goggles like oh the light don't work i can still see it's cool don't worry about it It's almost like the very thing that you was on. Okay, so another thing seems to be if this, if you figured out what the fuck this person was doing as far as this deception shit, because I mean, your intuition told you, like, hold the fuck up. Your intuition pretty much told you pause because something wasn't right. So if your intuition kicked in, was like, yeah, hold the fuck up. This, something seemed kind of weird here. You got the justice in the star. You was absolutely right. Your intuition kicked in and said something wasn't right with this fucking person. And yes, yeah, sensing. It said that something wasn't right with this person. So you started to kind of, you was hyper-focused on that. It's like, hold on, something ain't right. They're like, no, 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 come look at this instead. Come look at this instead. It's like somebody kept trying to trying to draw your attention, try to defer your attention from whatever this is. It's like, no, hold on, something seems kind of weird. Let me focus on this. Let me see what's going down right here. So when you started getting too close to whatever the fuck this deception is, when it when it looked like you were starting to uh, catch on to whatever they was doing, then it, they started moving funny as fuck. Changing directions. That's what I'm saying. Then they started moving funny as fuck. Hey, man, changing directions and deception. You notice that this person was starting to act funny. So they tried to, I feel like this person, all in all what it was is, they tried to trick you into believing that they were somebody that they wasn't. You looked at it and was like, nah, hold on, real niggas do real shit. So let me see what's going on. Because some here don't, some here ain't matching up. The math ain't mad then, my nigga. Hold on. You started, your intuition told you exactly what to focus on. You started focusing on that karma, and then they started retaliating off that. So, you was like, hold on. I think you being weird as fuck. Like, I think you got some shit going on. And then this person started trying to defer the shit on you. Like, hold on. Like, nah, you, it ain't me. It's you. You be da da da, -da or whatever it is. It is nah, I didn't do that. I did that because blah, blah, blah. This person always has a thousand and one excuses as to why I hang man of deception, why they leave your ass hanging. What it is, is you see right through this person, and they hope that you don't call their ass out on it. So, before you you get a chance it's one of them i'm about to leave you before you leave me type situation 
I'm about to leave. So you figure this out. Then I'm about to, I ain't about to let you address me. So I'm about to go ahead and go about my business. You're going to get sad. You're going to miss me. You're going to forget about that shit. And then you're going to try to talk. When I go back in and try to talk to you, that whole, that whole little deception shit that you just caught on to, we ain't going to talk about that. We're going to be focused on some new shit. That's exactly how this fucking person operates. You figure that out. And if you didn't, you just did. You figure that shit out. Libra, destiny, and the sun. Yeah, you figured this. Do you figure this out when you started getting close to the exact end? Like, hold on, like some seem kind of weird about your ass. Like, what, what you got going on? So every time you thought that this person was on some fuck ass shit, you was absolutely right. And then conveniently, that's when they switch up the. That's when they switch up the whole flow and shit. That's when they start acting different or doing different shit. Whatever this is, they try to leave the whole situation hanging. Like, oh nah, you just bugging, you just tripping, you just you that. Nah, you was exactly right about everything that was going on here. The thing is with Gemini. And deception, the thing is, this person might not even been, like, fucking with another energy. They could have been, but they might not even been fucking with another energy. It's simply, this person was too busy with you. You too, you're too intuitive at this point. High Priest is being the first card out. You're too fucking intuitive for this person to even be playing with your ass. Your intuition telling you was popping up before this person even come up in your direction, like... It, again, this may not have been that this person was actually dealing with another energy. This simply could have been whatever the fuck they were doing in general. They had no business doing that shit. And it had something to do with them trying to break your fucking spirit. And that's on everything I fucking love with destiny. Libra, sun, Gemini, and changing direction with Leo. This person tried to break your fucking spirit because you're too strong. You're too strong willed, too strong minded. This person feel like basically this person feel like you shouldn't be able to to do all this all this just whatever it is that you're doing like like let me let me be in the lead but the thing is you look at this person like why the fuck would you be like bitch no this person talking about everything could be so simple but the thing is everything cannot be so simple when you fucking lie why are you so so essentially what this is is whoever this is was like let me let me lead and you just follow the thing is at first you might have been doing that but then they they looking funny my nigga you said you wasn't drunk driving you said you was cool to drive my nigga so why is you why are you you know what i'm saying you veering a little bit too much to the left and to the right too often my nigga you're swerving you sure you good i got this i got this yeah, somebody started trying to apply pressure to you. They started trying to change you, your mental, your emotional state, all of that shit. Somebody wanted full control over you when that shit did not work. They started backing off once you, they like, uh, so basically, this person feel like you too smart for your own fucking good. They tried to fuck you over. You already knew what time it was. You didn't let that shit happen. They looking at you like, this could be so simple if you just let me control you. And every time you figured out what the fuck they was doing and you went to address it conveniently, the hangman and deception, they fall back. Right when they figure out that you possibly know something, because if your intuition kicking off, yo, something about your vibe is pretty much letting this person know. And it had to be something with the Leo energy coming out. You had to be real foot down type of energy, bitch. I'm putting my foot down. And play crazy, I'm going to whoop your ass with my foot. I'm going to put my foot right up your ass. Like, stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, sis. Will of Fortune, I kid you not, every single time, much like clockwork, when this person was doing that fuck shit, you figured it out, and all of a sudden, they, they leave, they go ghost, life debts, they leave and they go ghost, Gemini and life debts, yeah, it's something about this this whole lesbian love type situation here, I, I kid you not, this person 100% tried to fucking change you, like, their, their entire fucking motive behind this shit was to try to break you, like, you know how when you go into boot camp for the military, they they it's not to break you to where you just this this fucking weak ass person they want to break you out of your old habits and build you into these new ones essentially that's the fuck this person that you were dating tried to do to you and it might not you might not even been dating this person could have just been fucking with this person but whoever this is tried to fucking change you they tried to break you change you and when that didn't work you left and then, or they 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 left you hanging or you left them hanging but that hangman and deception, every time your intuition was right on point about something, everything changes. This is just like when, when this like, this like every time you put in a code, it, the, the numbers change around or something. So the code is still the same, but the number, the number sequence changes around or whatever the fuck. 
you can still like the code is still the same the numbers are just different the situation is still the same the shit that they were doing is just different the circumstances remain the same though the bottom line the the whole pot of gold here the result here it's still the same. It didn't matter how many ways they flipped the fucking rainbow around to get to the to, to get to the color. You put all seven colors of the rainbow in any order you want so many times that you want. That doesn't change the fact that this person is still aware of the pot of gold at the end of the fucking thing. That's not really fucking gold. That's fucking chocolate coins wrapped in gold wrapped in gold tin. This person can't believe that you figured that out. But the thing is, who's stupid here? Is it you or is it them? What the fuck are we talking about, bro? What's this tower? Who's stupid? You or them? Soon as you figured out what the fuck they was doing, they tried to fall back. Literally, the hangman and changing direction. They tried to pull back and change the whole fucking dynamic of everything. Once you figured this the fuck out, this is this was their next logical fucking move. They didn't have no other moves. They either had to do this or come straight up. Still thinking that they could play and win this game, they did not come straight up. But that is why we're are that's why we're where we at right now. Like that's why y'all's situation is how it is now. Because they still try they double down on this shit. You figured it out and then they still double down on the lie. They still double down on this life debt shit. They still double down on this tower. And it's surprised by the tower. They didn't avoid a tower. They literally got hit with a tower. Trust your gut. Like I said, with the high priestess being the first card out, when your intuition said that this person was on some fuck shit, you was absolutely right. What they were doing, you might have been wrong. That doesn't fucking matter. That's just the fucking numbers changing around. The passcode is still the fucking same. It's only, the only reason you would change, okay, so the passcode would still be the same, but the only reason you would change around the number sequence is so that a fucking robot wouldn't just be able to go in and do the same exact thing every fucking time. You would have to, you would have to pay attention or you're clicking in the wrong shit. Come on, my nigga, this person thought that your ass was stupid, point blank and period. They thought that they were the magician. Turns out, nah, bitch, you're not only, not, not only are you not the magician, I can tell that you read these tricks offline. I could tell that you went to a Reddit form and you read those. Mm hmm. Could tell you got that off a of Google form. I can tell. Boo. What's this? Man, boo. Shit, horrible. Like, the fact that this person thought that they was going to pull back their energy and change complete directions. Like, as soon as you figured out this fuck shit reinvention, I couldn't make it up. They thought that they was just going to pull back. Like, you were very aware. Like, man, you on some fuck shit. Whatever it was. Like, where you on some fuck shit. Point blank and period. Soon as you started to figure out, like, oh, you trying to change me. You trying to do this. You trying to do that. They fucking pulled their energy back. And they tried to go ghost, didn't they? The hangman deception and change in direction. This is the equivalent of you get into an argument with this person. They just, they just fucking leave. And then you don't hear from them no more. This is, this is exactly. That's not the equivalent. That's exactly what they did. That's exactly what they, fuck an equivalent, that's exactly what it was. This person's fucking sad and pathetic, bro. You have the fool. Like I said, this person's sad and fucking pathetic. They tried to play with you on this love shit. Because this person knew that you wanted love or you wanted like a solid commitment or whatever the fuck. They felt like, okay, well, I want that too. But I want you. This motherfucker has been watching the Godfather too much. This gives me vibes that it's a whole ass dude. And I take it how I resonate because it definitely could have been a, fem a, a, a female. But I'm getting Godfather vibes off this shit like, bitch. You think that men should be the only one in charge and nigga everything go up under your rule of thumb. Thing is, it turns out that the godfather, okay, this person thought that they were the godfather. Turns out it's actually you. You either turned out to be the godfather or the godmother. They never saw that shit coming. The role that you're actually in is the role that they wanted to be in. So basically, if you big boss CEO and this person just a fucking bum that sells fucking fries out of McDonald's, then this person is like, okay, well, shit. Not that you're a bum if you work at McDonald's. I'm just, goddamn. Anyway, this person is like, well, shit. Like I said, on some real fake it till you make it type shit. And this person decided, well, 
it's the equivalent of you just got your paycheck and you you broke but you want a motherfucker to feel like you got money so you wait till you finally get your paycheck then you ask the girl or the dude that you want to go out with you you want to go out with me you want to go to such and such any other day of the week you wouldn't be able to afford this shit but because it's the day of the week you just got paid now you playing games and shit now you now you out here like that that's the exact uh, that's 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 how this person moves around the horrifying that's exactly how they move around the fool and the horrifying this person wanted you to feel like they was like i'm i'm the one like i'm the i'm the i'm the go-to i'm the i know everything i got this i got that and then you was looking at this person like horrifying the high priestess these are divine counterparts you looking at this person like bro you look funny as fuck or since you look funny as hell what you got going on something's not right i'm that nigga I da, da, da. but something's not right though i'm that bitch but something's not right though you got some some funny going on like what's your intuition told you with deception like yeah something seems weird the thing is you might have thought that the deception was this person was fucking with another party that literally may not have been the case their other fucking personality could have been that third party energy that you're picking up on that they were fucking with because they were they were heavily into it you know the equivalent of um rappers that get online and the image that their label gives them is not who the fuck they actually are this is the same thing here you so good that whatever you do however you look you look so good or you are so good that you made this person turn into another person they were an industry plant because you looking at this person like bro how the fuck did you how you got these accolades like how the fuck do you have any any type of leverage behind you who who vouching for you you moving like this who in the fuck is vouching for you that's what you were thinking. That's what your intuition was kicking off with. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Your intuition was kicking off telling you like, man, something about this person not fucking right. I think it may be because you had an image of someone else or or like they, they in comparison could have been like someone else. But they, they're not that person. Who whatever, whatever celebrity... I have a whole sibling that does this. Every fucking time this individual gets drunk, they think they are T.I. Y'all have met this person before. Every single time, this motherfucker's alter ego is, is T.I. I don't know. But I know that that's the case. I don't know who this person thought they was. But I know that you know who you are and they thought that you were playing a game because they were playing a game. So however you really are, they thought that that shit was a facade because they was putting on a show for you. You know the difference here? They just figured it out. You're still consistent and they're not. That must mean that this is how you actually are. You're like this all the time. Either you're damn good, like you're either really that good or this is you for real. So this is you being authentic, but then your intuition kicking off telling you somebody around you not being authentic. You got an imposter around you. You trying to figure out where the fuck it's coming from because ain't no way it's this person sitting next to me. No, but it is though. And you figure that out. Gemini and a fool with life debts. You figure out this person is not who they claim to be. Yep. Reinvention in the full. Somebody is on some real six nine type energy. I'm I'm I keep picking that energy up. A real six nine type energy. But y'all know what's funny? I just came across. I didn't even know about the dude. Whoever the dude is, CJ or whatever he claimed to be. He he ended up getting exposed as a fake blood or whatever the fuck. But his name was CJ and he was a he was a a, a rapper or some shit. And I'm sitting there thinking while I'm watching a little mini documentary, I'm sitting there thinking like, am I bugging or is this six nine? Is this not the same image they gave six nine? Only six nine was successful because six nine knew how to talk his way in the interviews and out of interviews. This motherfucker CJ got asked one question that blew it all. One interview fucked it all up officially. And I'm sitting there dead ass thinking like, bro, this nigga and six nine are the same exact and then they even did a song together. I'm like, bro. They thought they was slick. And when I say they, y'all know who I'm talking about. Like, nigga, y'all industry motherfuckers really thought that we was stupid. And a lot of people, it still went over their head. Like, bro, these are the same fucking, that's the same. You had one character with two different people, one failed. This other one was successful. Bruh. 
I get the feeling that however you met this person originally and I don't know. I think your type, like either they know about somebody from your past or they're they're like they know about your type or some shit like that because they attempted to be that fucking type. Literally attempted to be that person because you said that's who you like or that's who they're aware of, like the type of personality that's the type of personalities that you've been into. Or third way, they see how you are as a person and they thought I know how to counter that because you have high priests and hierophant, which are direct counterparts with the tower. One of those ways this person attempted to like they they attempted to be the other half of you, knowing that they were not it, but they thought that they could trick a, a real one into thinking that some fake shit was real. Realize, realize, realize. The fuck? Real eyes. Real lies real lies you know what i'm saying like what the fuck your intuition was off top like bro something about the motherfuckers ain't funny as hell you could have thought that at meeting at the time of meeting this person having conversations with this person everything about you was like yeah this whole last person is a fucking fool something about you literally said this person was a fucking fool but you was like nah it was that empathy in you it was like nah this person cool it's because you be looking past the flaws and everybody looking at their fucking pros and shit. But you you saw this person for who they was. You got double Pisces starting and ending the fucking reading with, with double world starting and ending the reading. You knew exactly what the fuck this person was on. You know that they was capped out. You still let this person ride that fucking high though because you still fucked with this person in general. So that's like when somebody's like, I identify as a ladybug today. All right, well, shit, that's whatever the fuck. Like when your kid just like, I'm an astronaut today. you just like, all right, go ahead, do your thing. That's, the, that's, that's how you treated this person like a fucking toddler telling you what career they want to be in. I want to be a firefighter. Okay, go ahead, do your thing. I want to be a doctor. All right, go ahead, doc. Doc McStuffins. Go ahead, doc. You played the game. That's, that's what this is about. You played the game. <laughs> you did this this person said i want to be a doctor when i grow up you said okay doc i want to be president when i grow up all right prez what's up all right boss man all right boss lady you played the game so of course they started getting mad when they couldn't figure out well if you playing my game why in the fuck is all of a sudden why why you like why you trying to out me as a fake like You've been playing this game the whole time. like So you done really made this person believe. This kid said, I want to be a doctor. You said, okay, doc. You kept calling this, this this kid doc, encouraging, you know what I'm saying, what they said they wanted to be. You kept encouraging this shit. However it go for you, just take the visual. You kept encouraging that. So one day, one day you get upset. Or one day you having a bad day and your kid done pissed you off. And your kid, is, your kid done pissed you off and now they want to play this game and shit. So they're like, all right, let me check your blood pressure. The doc is in. And you like, man, go ahead about your fucking business. And then they keep pissing you off. You ain't no fucking doctor. Go ahead about your business. Go play doctor somewhere else. Go go ahead with that shit somewhere else. Now your kid is heartbroken. Your kid lashing the fuck out. What you mean I ain't no fucking doctor? I always been a doctor. What you what are you talking about? Tell me I'm lying. And tell me you don't understand that. That's exactly how this person is acting. Like a child that you just crushed their fucking dreams. Essentially, you did because you played this game knowing that it was dead ass wrong. Your intuition told you that it was deceptive, but you kept going into it. The hangman, you just wanted to see, you just wanted curiosity to kill the cat. You wanted to see how close to the fucking truth you could get and you got it. And now they heartbroken and now they all mad and it's your fault. Well, small percent, I'm going to say about an eighth of that shit is your fault because you played the game. I got to hold you accountable too. You played this game. You played it because you wanted to know what the fuck was going on. And then once you figured out the truth, then you were done. But you could have just been done. You could have just let it go. Now, granted, this is not all your fault. I'm just saying a small part of it does lie on you for playing this stupid ass game with this fucking person. You made them believe this image that they that they knew that they was lying to you about this image. And you made them believe that you believed 
this fucking image so yeah of course they feel bamboozled by you that means that you knew the whole fucking time and you just let this person just do whatever the fuck so yeah they feel a way about that but that's where again they do not want to take accountability you knew that you was fucked up from the jump don't get mad at somebody else for figuring it out though but you knew this person was fucked up so you can't completely be like i don't understand it no you do because you was playing the game trying to figure out what the fuck they was doing when your intuition say fall back that's what that's the fuck you're supposed to do there's no if ands or buts about that there's no discussion about that your intuition say fall back you need to fall back and your intuition told you to fall back how do i know this because your intuition is currently telling you keep back from this fucking person you was getting that same information beforehand but you like to be curious curiosity killed the cat this is where we are now i'll be right back